Hello, this is Chris537 with you from the Anarchy Underground. I'm the SysOp and of Endless Chaos BBS. And I'm going to show you today how to get one of these babies, a Commodore. I guess we're going to work with a 128 today. Since uh, that's what I got with this adapter hooked up. I got a peak modem interface for the 64 and 128. I guess we bought it back in 88 or something like that. And... Um, Plug it here in the back, and uh, I got that going through a null modem cable, and uh, it's actually a 25 pin going to a 25 pin on the other end. It's got a 9 pin. It's actually going into the BBS server down here into the back of the 9 pin COM port, and it is COM1. So I'm going to go through here, and this is kind of how I got the C-Base set up. If you even want to know how to get some C-Base setups for 2400 baud. Then this down a little bit so you can read it. So, on my settings here, we're going to go under Advanced. My Telnet port is 6400. My COM port is 1. You should have an IP address here in this window. Um, as far as the BBS name, it's kind of like your welcome message. Since we're calling out today, um, you really won't have to worry about it. Under comms, I got it set as 2400 baud. You'll see here it says null modem cable, which uh, it actually gives you five different settings. But we are using null modem cable today. My enable flow control, all these are unchecked. If we go under connecting, this is how I have the BBS set up. So you want to check the raise DTR when caller connects. Have the check for weight BBS send ATA before completing connection. And send ring to BBS when telnet caller connects. Everything else should be unchecked. Then we're going to go under disconnecting, which are disconnecting uh, detection. I actually have the first three boxes checked, which is the BBS drops C, uh, DCD, BBS drops DSR, and if the BBS sends a plus 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 ATH, it will disconnect the BBS. Um, as far as my auto disconnect, I don't idle out. Um, on the disconnect actions, I send no carrier to the BBS and lower DTR when the caller disconnects. Under diagnostic, um, everything's unchecked. I do got some sounds at play so I can hear it connect or what have not. Um, emulation, since we're going to do some outbound calling, we're going to allow outgoing calls. Um, if you run C, C base 5.1, which is what I'm running, but even if you're running a Strokos 3.0 version, I just do lowercase connect 2400 in this box right here. And uh, with no space in between. Hazen emulation, I'll have the first box checked, which keeps the COM port open. The other two is not checked. The phone book is nothing. So that's as far as the settings that I got going on here. Um, we're going to go ahead and power up the Commodore now. Since uh, you got a good idea of what the settings are. Um, I'm running a Nova Term. It's my SwiftLink CD. So I'm actually going, or CD, floppy disk. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to actually configure it. I'm going to load this off of my um, online games number 10 drive up here for the BBS. The 
return key ain't uh, all that shabby on this computer. It's pretty wore out. So now we're getting some load up action. Some 1581 buzzing going on up there. So now we need to configure our 2400 baud motor. Since um, we don't have a uh, swift link hooked up or a link 232, so we're going to go to configuration. Our baud rate is going to be 2400. And then we need to configure our modem. So we're going to go instead of the haze fast, which is what we use for swift link. This is what I got on this disc anyway. We're going to go to haze 2400. So now we got all that configured. We're going to go ahead and quit. See if we can get a connection kick in here with a, it's a AT. And I don't see it uh, sending anything to our PC there. So we will go back, see if we missed anything. Ah, serial driver. We don't have a serial driver, so we're going to go to user port, which I totally didn't think about. I'm going to go ahead and quit again, see if we got some action now. Looks like we do. All right. So we got some action now. So don't forget that, kids. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to try to call the Anarchy Underground again. Which is ATDT, the URL. Follow it by the colon sign. It's just like calling with a phone number on a modem, but you're going to URL instead. So we actually connected. On your BBS server program, you'll see here where it actually says that there's an outgoing call going on, and it'll tell you how long or what have you. So let's go ahead and do our little login sequence. And there we are. We're on the Anarchy Underground. So that's how you do it. Go ahead and log off. And that's with the RS-232. You even got to see a common mistake and uh, know how to do it whenever you're ready to do it. So you guys have a good one.